Tammy from Up North Journal, and I'm here with Julie. Hi. The boys are away, so guess what? We are in deer camp. We are playing while the boys are away. So take that, boys. <laughs> Julie's here at the Sterling Heights location of Deer Camp, which is an amazing retail outlet. It's new, but it's also their corporate retail slash um, location, I guess you could say. So they are, for all intents and purposes, a small mom and pop shop, um, shop local, all that feel good stuff that we promote and we love. Um, also Michigan products and everybody that comes in here can find anything um, to satisfy any type of hunter um, in the family. Right, Julie? We have lots of gifts, and we went shopping to show you as well, because <laughs> it's our girls' night. Absolutely, <laughs> and what do girls like to do? Shop and spend money when the boys aren't looking. <laughs> I don't know where you want to start, but we have lots to show you. Um, is there any place you want to start? Oh. Well, why don't we start over here? Okay, we'll just sure. work our way down, because all of this is a great reflection of what you've built here at Deer Camp, right. um, promoting small business, local business, tried and true businesses that have an established made in Michigan or or sold in Michigan vibe um, as well as some companies that are affected much as ourselves you know for our employees and employers um, it's not just the paycheck companies are closing everything has been affected um, so we're trying to do our part, right? right, here at your camp. We have a lot of um, Made in Michigan in the store, um, and it doesn't take that long. If you find some items here and we still need to get it in for you, it doesn't take that long. Made in Michigan, it's like two to three days to get it in, or a vendor might drop it off in person. So we get to now, if you about. have something that's sold out, let me interrupt right. you. Um, let's say I want a particular product. Right and you're sold out, I can just call the store, you correct? Can. Oh yeah, Absolutely. in fact, this Whirly Pop right behind you is the Amish Country Popcorn. Can you all see that? <laughs> Great gift set, right? I have a friend of ours who wants four of them for Christmas. We don't have oh, four awesome. of them in the store. So she's picking them up next Tuesday. If she's watching, she knows who she is. <laughs> um, but again, a couple days, we'll, get, we'll have it here for her and she can pick up four of them for her relatives, friends, whoever mm -hmm. they're for. So yeah, and very it's convenient. Nice that you can find nostalgic things because right. I know that once this and I hate to keep repeating COVID, we are so <laughs> sick of hearing COVID. However, in this day and age, we need to get back to basics mm -hmm. and we need to reintroduce ourselves to family and traditions and things like that. What better way, right. what better gift to give than, you know, movie night at home oh, or at yeah. deer camp? Popping the popcorn and things like that. It's right. it's good wholesome fun. Tons of different flavors of popcorn. Yeah. They have microwavable popcorn too if you don't want to do stove top yeah. or in the whirly pop there. And it's you have seasonings, seasonings too for the popcorns. Yeah. yeah. Salt, yeah. butters. Um, they have a lot of stuff and they're great to work with, all made in Michigan. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yep. And this is one of their, and again, pr the prices are very competitive. Everybody thinks that they shop at a, at a local sh you know, sh store versus a big box store, like they're right. going to spend tons of money and we're very competitive in the market. So Absolutely. Yeah. And that's one thing I noticed coming in here. Most of your boutique type right. shopping, um, I'm not going to lie, you know, you're paying a higher price. Whereas I noticed several things that I can get at other different stores, yeah. you have a much lower price right. point which is enticing especially in this day and age when every penny counts right and we had a yeah. lot of black friday sales that won't be our only sales of the season trust yeah. me and stay tuned because right. at the end of the show we may have a black friday you know up north journal special right, right. <laughs> something a little teaser there um we also have mackinac fudge if you have a sweet tooth so we have all different flavors in the store um and fully stocked and they're easy to get so if you're looking for gift ideas, we actually have a gift basket of these too. Great for, stocking stuffers. Right, great stocking stuffers, and they're delicious. Um, local, made in Michigan. They're like, almost like a 2D type of card here. We have birthdays and holidays and Christmas cards. Again, made in Michigan, um, and very, very cute cards. You can see those. We have very crafty vendors. Um, we've been 
uh, we have a vendor here that came to us about squirrel stands that you can actually put on trees. It's a kit with the nuts and you can put it on a fence if you want to if you don't have a tree. But he makes other things too. He's very talented. Um, and again, 19.99. It's 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 heavy. It's wood, um, all handmade, made in Michigan. Um, and there's other stuff here too for Christmas. We have trees and ornaments. They have the wood feeling, you know, to them with the bows and very cute stuff. Again, um, the squirrel stand that I was talking about. It's like, look at this. This is cute. Yeah. This is very cute. It look comes in that. natural, two tone. This is the two tone one. You could put the little nuts in right. the can. Right. And Right. And in fact, we had a uh, we had somebody come in um, locally around here wanted to build it with his son, and he wanted the kit. So we were able to make that happen, and nothing was put together, but it was all labeled for them to make the kit together. So and then to place it outdoors. Well, that's um, awesome. Let's see. And then what we else. have Williams cheese. Yep. This we is have. in Linwood, Michigan, and yep. this is. That's delicious a, oh yeah, creamy cheese. I know. We have people that come in here just for the cheeses, and we have all different varieties. Like, and there's also gift baskets there is. that are set up. Um, you can just walk in, pay for it, and have a different variety of things. Um, cheeses, as well right. as yeah. snacks. Right. Um, and the gift baskets, trust me, they are well worth the trip because you can't get a more beautiful basket such right economical prices. Right, right. It's, and that's why I say we compete with the big guys because, well, we can. Right. I would never gouge our customers and Absolutely. they're very loyal. We haven't been open all that long. We have our repeat customers and our loyalty cards that they punch. So, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. And then this is a uh, new to our store. We are very pleased about this. If anybody's in Michigan, they know what Blake's Farm is. They have Christmas mm -hmm. trees and apples and you pick for veggies and fruits. Um, we now are carrying Blake's, which I'm really super excited about. There's more to come on this, but we do have quite a bit in the store. We have jams, and this is their apple butter, one of my favorites. Mm, but we have good. different sauces for baking, and it's kind of making me hungry. But um, <laughs> again, great company to work with, and lots more to come. We'll have a, a larger display of this. Uh, we just got that in. Yeah, what about these pickles? Oh, great ladies. Bloody Mary pickle. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it, and it tastes like a Bloody Mary too. But there's different kinds if you're not into Bloody Marys. Um, we have the traditional dills, dill and garlic. Um, we even have um, like, uh, what's that, that pickled beets. And I know it's not a pickle, but we had it at Thanksgiving. It was really good. We put it in a dish as a little side dish, and the pickled beets were awesome. They were really good. Crisp pickles in here, very fresh. Um, again, definitely. All we did a tasting off yeah. camera. Yeah, there's yeah. a crunch. Yeah, there's <laughs> definitely. A crunch, yeah. So if you like a crunch, right, you you can't go wrong with these. Yeah, jarred. Fr it's fresh, all fresh. This is nice. This is a deer camp candle. Mm -hmm. Guess what? And this it smell smells is. awesome. <laughs> yep. Oh, I love that. And this is locally. Yep. And awesome. again. Very price competitive, so. Definitely, yeah, definitely. And again, if you see some, something that you want to create a gift basket for and you want to put the candle mm -hmm. in it, vice versa, anything you see in the store, just let us know. Saltwater taffy, Escanaba, Michigan. Right. We That's have, awesome. We have a lot of chocolates from Escanaba. We have the taffy. Uh, again, all made in Michigan. That includes our Youpers, too. We have our Youper bars, we have milk chocolate bars. Um, all different varieties too of those if you have a sweet tooth. And Uncle Henry's Ooh, Gourmet Meats. Yummy. Who does not love Uncle Henry's? Yeah. <laughs> so we have a special on this. Three for 20 for the jerkies. Um, three for 20 everything except for the summer sausage and the venison hot dogs. Mm -hmm. But anything else in our display, we have a big refrigerator here. Um, three for 20. So people come in on their lunch yeah. hours here and they just grab three for 20. And that's like their yeah, lunch. Yeah, that's awesome. And they love it. Um, very, very good. I've tasted Quite a bit of the different kinds when we first got these in, and which one did you pick? Oh, the venison. venison. Oh, so good. Um, but you they have, have a jalapeno. With the classics. Oh, right, right. But there are so many different varieties to choose from: jalapeno cheddar yeah. and garlic. And, and the jalapeno is not that strong because I I'm not right. a very hot type of spicy right. person, and it it's very smooth. Like yeah. it's really super good. Right. So can't go wrong with Uncle Henry's. And then. Explain that. Oh, so, He's so, local too, yeah, right? Yeah, so JPO does a lot of game calls and duck calls and um, you'll see a whole display. He's local. Um, 
again, a lot of these vendors were affected this year by, again, we're saying COVID and right. the whole pandemic, but it's true. Yeah. Um, there hasn't been a lot of trade shows, if, if any, that when, when the season, you know, when you look at your season, there was nothing for these vendors right. to go to or to participate in. So they came to us and said, hey, we got some stuff here. And of course, you know, we, there's a lot more than this in the store. Um, right. But again, another fantastic vendor made in Michigan, and they drop it off locally to us. So we just call them up, and if we need something, they're there that's for us. Awesome. Yeah. So that's the mouth call, but there's also the grunts and grunts. Yeah. And I noticed also over there for your hunting fur babies, um, you have dog toys and right. trainer toys yep. and treats. Right. Our that is friends. awesome. That is awesome. Right. We have a whole gift area, so um, there's lots to look at in this store. Yeah. When people come in, they're just like, right. oh, and you got something new over here. And right. We're always changing stuff up, and we have new things all the time. So why don't we take a break, sure. and when we're going to come back, I forgot, and I'm, as I'm sure you did, to introduce some of the products that we did miss okay. that are quite integral to Deer Camp. So after this break, we'll be right back. Everybody, Dan Fall here, Up North Journal. I'm out on my 40 acres creating mineral site. And what am I doing it with? That's right, Buck Bates Match Minerals Series Mineral Feed. That's right, starting off a brand new mineral lick. Uh, I found a stump out here. Uh, I poured the first bag on, just poured it right on top of the stump. I'm going to pour the second bag, get it started, hopefully, see what happens in the fall. You know what? Getting out here, it was, it was kind of a, a pretty good hike to get back here. So I use the Buck Bates backpack as well. Make sure to get over to buckbaits.com and check it out and see what they got for you. One. Welcome back. Second segment of the show. And my name's Tammy. Julie. <laughs> um, before the break, we were talking about JPO. Right. And I totally missed the mark on why you are Julie. <laughs> you brought to Deer Camp one of the best things our buck bait line. I mean, this is really the reason why the storefront came along because this put you on the map, so to speak. It, it did, yeah. Um, we've been in it for about five plus years now, and you know when the whole pandemic hit and the trade shows came to a halt, um, we needed some place for our customers to come to. So we really have a showroom of our buck baits. The entire line is here. Or you can get it online as well. I mean, a lot of our customers do. They just want it shipped to them. But if you want to smell it, touch it, feel it, whatever, see it in person, we have the entire line here at the store. And so. it's your authentic and synthetic urines, right? Right. right. So we and they're all sense. ATA approved? Yes. So like our deer scents are ATA approved. I'm holding the Estrus Max. Very potent. Don't get it on your fingers. Guaranteed <laughs> to work. Me, yeah, she was telling me a story <laughs> before break. Yeah. And yeah, it worked. So definitely. And also cover scents. You have right. pine, acorn, apple, apple, persimmon. I mean, there's tons here. There's yeah. tons. Corn. Yeah, you said corn already. So yeah, there's tons, and, and we can pull them out if you want. to Smell yeah. them, you know, if you want to. Um, but yeah, they're very potent. Um, we also have our apparel here as well, so you'll see that at our deer camp and track. This space. is something that is a must-have for every deer hunter. Right. I was telling Julie on the break um, a little funny story about um, tracking a deer through the woods and removing the ball cap, removing the coat, removing right. the bibs, removing blah blah blah, and yeah. and all of a sudden you become you know 
like playing strip poker right. in the woods. Right. And you <laughs> need to track not only your way to. out to that animal that you are wanting to, right. you know. Day or night, yeah. reflective. So, and then you can go back to your site the next day if you want to. And Absolutely. Find your way. And this would also be good for markers. You know, right. if you are sitting in a stand or a blind, you can, you know, gauge, okay, this is how far my shot is or, or whatnot. And right. they're, the animals are not going to be affected by seeing these oh, yeah. or spooked off, you know. Yeah. So that's awesome. And a lot of these items that we're talking about, you know, as hunters, you may be, you know, stocked, so to speak. But what about, you know, somebody that says you're hard to buy for or, you know. We do have gift baskets here, too. I mean, we sell year-round. Right. So, I mean, they make, they make great gifts. So you'll see some gift baskets here mm -hmm. at the store as well that you wouldn't find online necessarily. Or if you give us a call, we can make something up for a friend, family mm -hmm. member. That's obviously a hunt. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. And while we're on that topic, and I'll, I'll probably hit on this at the end, um, where can we find you? What right. outlets can we find you? Right. For? So we're, we're available on Facebook. We have a new website coming for the Deer Camp Store. Um, any local vendor, if you feel that you have a portfolio and you'd like to contact us and you think something might be a good fit for a store, we've gotten a lot of inquiries through Facebook Messenger oh, right that's now. Awesome. Yeah. So and and there's an email too as well. So you can feel free to email us if you're more comfortable with that, or come stop by. Um, we have an open ear, so especially if you're local here, we like to help you out. So, but yeah, and we've had quite a bit um, <laughs> since we've opened. That's so, awesome. Yeah, and a lot of the things that you saw in the first segment were people that stopped by or contacted us on Facebook. That's awesome. Um, yeah. And it's local business supporting right. local business. We are, right. you know, I hate to quote anybody, you know, specific, but we are all in this together, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. And fortunately, it's bringing all of us closer together. And we have to support our local businesses because at the end of the day, what would we have, you know, without our local businesses? They run our local communities. Um, and unfortunately, you don't get that from the big box stores. They don't care about the local community. Right. You know, they can pack up and move to another town. Um, but the local businesses, the mom and pops, is, you know, yeah. as most of us are, are they really referring. really do have a heartfelt, yeah. and they care about their employees, too. Yeah. Everybody has bills to pay, and, you know, we get it. We totally get it. So, absolutely, absolutely. Right. So what else do we have? Oh, we pulled some stuff out for our sweet tooth. Oh, there you go. If you travel, um, you're going to your hunting camp, <laughs> you can have something for your car ride. If and you want I to. know when the boys are at the mic and interviewing people, they always do this thing, and I'll have to do this with you. <laughs> they always ask everybody they interview, what is your favorite snack going up to deer camp? Right. So, is it the chocolate peanuts? Yeah. Is it the mixed nuts? We have mixed nuts here. Um, <laughs> black licorice, you know. Everybody loves nuts, right. you know. And there, there's candies here as well. Yeah. Um, we have tons of candy here. So, even for the families that come in with the little ones, their eyes get real big in here. So they don't <laughs> and they're at child level, too. <laughs> it's very enticing because we have businesses nearby. And we have families that walk by all the time. The kids are like this in the window. They see the candy. <laughs> You know, but they come in and buy something. So that's awesome. Yeah. So getting back to that, what is your favorite snack when you or you and the hubby and the kids are loaded up on a road trip? Uh, well, we we sh well, I would say the boys <laughs> have their sweet tooth. I like the salt, so I go towards the the nuts and okay. sometimes the chocolate. I would say I'm like looking at it in the store. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I would say, and then my husband likes the jerky. He's he's all about the jerky. Okay. Yeah. Tons. See, I have to go with your husband. Right. I, I'm a. It's I'm kind a of like one of those person. things where it's like road trip, got the jerky, right. and it's like sitting between us in the in the seats. It's right. like it's equally as important your coffee, as your registration yeah. in your coffee right. mug. <laughs> right. So yeah, that's our go-to, and we have a probably a variety in our vehicle. Okay. Go heading somewhere. So. There you go. Um, so getting on that subject of trying to knock out the guys, you know, questions that they ask, mm -hmm. I'll hit this okay. one up. Okay. What is playing on the radio while you're driving? Is it well, if kids I get, movies? If is I get it? my choice, it's country. <laughs> okay. But um, if the kids get their choice, they're playing their movies and we kind of listen to that as they're going right. on. Right. 
They have their, you know, their iPads or the DVD players, and they're always playing something. They're young. <laughs> they're always playing something to be right. occupied because our trips are like five hours or more. Right. So to get and what it, we need it to It makes go. it hard, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's at least a movie, at least one movie that we're right. listening to and then the radio. Okay. And then we kind of turn off everything for some downtime. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're going to take a break from those two questions left, and I'll segue into some other things. So you have um, a company that's local in Romeo right. that has really great products, um, great quality, economic, um, just really fun, and this will tie into some things you're looking for as far as expanding. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is year-round, I mean, events. We have the corn holes here, and we have a, a whole catalog. So if you don't see something in the store here, they can make it for you, um, or come see us and tell us what you want to do. But um, events come the spring and summer. They hold events, and we'll be having some fun stuff um, that you'll see on our new website. So please check back, because um, they'll have some events here, some competitive events. And they're called yeah. Mother Shuckers. Mother Shuckers, yeah. And no, no we didn't misspeak. Nope. It's Mother Shuckers. <laughs> <laughs> um, play on words, a little fun. Right. Um, but they are located, um, they have a permanent uh, retail location at downtown Romeo. Right. So, and they have some stuff that's different than our display, too, that right. you might see that yeah. you want. So, yeah, feel free to come and, and check us out. And uh, they have a Facebook page. Um, I a website too that you can go to get some ideas and we have all kinds of bean bags here on display so yeah. there's probably something there that right. will treat your interest so. absolutely for yeah. sports to hunting and you know colors and yeah. things like that yeah something for everybody yeah and I'm really excited to um, be able to participate in the right. future right in the cornhole yeah that, that'll yeah. be gonna awesome be are you gonna fun. post that like yeah. on your Facebook page oh yeah stuff? oh yeah that's we'll probably awesome have something a media outlet for on our website or our Facebook right. for that yeah okay. well I guarantee even though the guys aren't here I think it's safe to say I'll definitely make sure <laughs> that that's you know yeah on up north journal oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah we will promote it definitely yeah it's maybe fun. we can do a little collaboration yeah get some, get some viewers from the show and right. come Why out and, yeah definitely definitely and then we have um, of course for our hunters here we have our woods and water news so you can pick up your local copy here as well for Woods and Water. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, so before um, we come back, or before we go on, not only do I want to finish up the two questions for the interview, okay. hope the guys don't come in and break us up <laughs> at deer camp, um, but also we have something special at the end. So when we come back, um, after this break, we'll talk about those items. Great. Everybody, Dan Fly here, Up North Journal. I'm out on my 40 acres creating mineral site. And what am I doing it with? That's right, Buck Bates Match Minerals Series Mineral Feed. That's right, starting off a brand new mineral lick. Uh, I found a stump out here. Um, I poured the first bag on, just poured it right on top of the stump. I'm going to pour the second bag, get it started, hopefully, see what happens in the fall. You know what? Getting out here, it was, it was kind of a, a pretty good hike to get back here. So I use the Buck Bates backpack as well. Make sure to get over to buckbaits.com and check it out and see what they got for you. Welcome back for the last segment of this show. Um, so we've pretty much looked around the entire store here, um, but we didn't showcase everything. So you definitely want to make a trip out here. Um, so one of these lovely fur babies, <laughs> taxidermy. 
So you also can hook people up and network people with a great taxidermist. Right. We have a local taxidermist here in Sterling Heights, five-star taxidermy, David Bowman. His artwork in here, there's a lot of different animals in here too. Kids enjoy it. It's, it's very fun to see it in here. Um, but we actually have a couple of movie stars in here too, because he had a couple of them on a movie set. I can't tell really? you which movie. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, they whisked them away <laughs> and they brought them back in here about a couple weeks later. Yeah, they were on a movie set. And, that's uh, awesome. There's some beautiful animals in here. You have to check it out. So not only when you come down, you get to see Deer Camp, but right. you also get to maybe get your picture taking or something <laughs> with a real movie star. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and he does really great work. Um, there are many animals in here, um, right. birds and four-legged, two-legged, you know, whatever. Um, but it is a great representation of the wildlife in Michigan right. um, between, you know, just everything. I don't want to give it away I know. because I want people to come in here and you definitely... Um, you will not be disappointed right. at all. We try to give you referrals too. We have cards for our skull works mm -hmm. over at Wyoming. Yeah, there's sure a beautiful have. European mount right. on the wall. Um, we were kind of nervous about removing it from the wall because girls in deer camp, you know, we don't want to get teased <laughs> and then we won't be invited back. So, um, but yeah, definitely there's a European mount that's absolutely right. gorgeous. So from our deer processing with Uncle Henry Meats and our taxidermists and skull works, we have something for everyone. And we definitely have business cards that we can give to you and refer to you. We've used a lot of these resources ourselves, um, so we wouldn't steer you wrong. Right. And also, you know, from the outfitting point of view, you basically can get me to the woods and all the way through. Um, hunting supplies. Yeah. Um, you know, Archery. if, if you don't have something in the store, you can order it for me right. and have it drop shipped to my home or the store. That's phenomenal. You don't get that at the big box stores, especially service with a smile, a friendly face, local business. Um, the big box stores, they just want to sell, um, and they don't really care what your needs are. Julie here and the staff are going to ask you, you know, How's this been working for you? Or what do you need? Or maybe have recommendations to assist you. I'm pretty new to the hunting game. Um, so I don't have the experience that maybe, you know, you have or, or someone else here. And you never judge a book by its cover. Somebody walking in here, you don't know exactly what they want, and then they start talking to you. That's for sure. <laughs> we had uh, a woman come in here last week, and she was dressed to the nines. High heels, everything. She came in here for a hunting night. That's what she wanted, and she put it in her purse. She said her husband was squirrel hunting, and I was like, oh, okay. I was not expecting that. That's why you right. don't judge a book by its cover. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah, great customer. So, <laughs> And she'll be back. And she'll be back, yeah. She you know, because she knows that, yeah, right. that's awesome. And they do, you know, something that we haven't touched on is you do offer a deer camp loyalty card. Right. Explain that. Right. So you get 12 punches, kind of like a 12-point buck. You'll see the little uh, card. You know, we stamp it, and as you go and you get your 12 points on it, you get 15% off your next purchase. So oh, you definitely awesome. want to keep that card. Yeah. Absolutely. Some incentive for coming back. So Absolutely. We'd like to see you come back, too. So Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So I'm going to try to segue and, and break topic for a little bit. Sure. Um, I have to do the questions. So one thing that um, I was intrigued by with the guys is they always ask, what is the favorite meal? What is the favorite wild game meal, right. you know, that you would serve if I came over? Mm -hmm. And I think I already know because it's a good one. Yeah. Um, but go ahead and share that. Venison stuffing. Oh, oh my goodness. It was, it's, it's so good. We actually shared it. We shared the recipe with you. Um, last time around. Right. Did you, um, did you at the end of August, I think. It? Yes. Oh, yes. It, yeah. Oh. You it's can't good. go wrong. Yeah, yeah. It has apples and bacon in it, and you mix it with your chicken broth and um, and venison, and venison, right? of course. Yeah. yeah. But the the recipes on there, you can definitely share, right? Again, so yeah. I would have them, the you know, have to come into the store to get the recipe. There you go. <laughs> right? You know, recipe with a purchase <laughs> or something. Do that. <laughs> with a purpose. Um, yeah, we can definitely do that. So yeah. yeah. But it was very, very. It's very, very good. We had it this Thanksgiving as well, so we have it every Thanksgiving. 
That's so, awesome. And it's a standalone meal. If you don't want to cook a turkey with it, you don't have to. Right. You can have it for you know dinner or lunch or whatever. Right. Or even change it Re-eat up. It. When I made it, I was thinking, okay, what if I had buffalo meat or right. elk meat or oh, God, you know yeah. any kind of wild meat? Yeah. It would probably still taste phenomenal. Oh my God. You yeah. Made it was a great meat. recipe. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So another thing the guys like to do, and I'm okay. trying really hard to keep with the with the you know the flow of the show sure. per usual. Um, but one thing the guys like to do is ask for okay, we're sitting around the fire or you know having a drink or a beverage. Uh, we've eaten the meal that you've prepared. What story would you like to tell? Um, mm-hmm. You know, is there is there a story that comes to mind, or or an anecdote, or something? Um, deer camp store. Right. Do you have any customer stories? You know right. that you'd like to share. That we have a lot of customers <laughs> that come in here that I mean, they spend like an hour or so. They like we have a, kind of a bragging area where we have a buck pole you can share your photo with. Oh, that's awesome. And they awesome. like to bring in their photos, and we have a little board up there for that. But sometimes they'll spend a good hour here. They just like to tell their tales yeah. you know and then they we walk around the store even just like the the woman coming in here and dressed to the nines and you never know what she would want to come in here for right. um, and she ended up buying something hunting related um, and she had her son with her and he went for the candy so <laughs> but yeah I mean we get all kinds of walks of life in here from right. young to old to families and right. we listen to a lot of their stories so and it's good to see that that's so, awesome yeah. And it's really nice that, you know, this this retail location caters to literally to two to ninety two or even right. hundred and two. Right. You know, it's um it's child friendly, it's adult friendly, it's non hunter friendly. Right. Um, you know, it it's anything. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really an awesome location. Um it just it's really nice to see, especially in and if I hadn't mentioned it before for our local viewers. Um, They are located in Sterling Heights, um, just north of 15 Mile on Dodge Park. So it's it's a hop, skip, and a jump from any freeway, um, 75, I-94, 696, um, right here in Macomb County. Um, So definitely come by here. You will not, um, you'll, you won't be disappointed at all. 11 to 7, we're open on the weekends as well, just on holidays and obviously opening day yeah, will be absolutely. closed. Which is a holiday. So, <laughs> which is our holiday, right? Yeah. So, but yeah, so we're here and if you feel that you want to call beforehand, that's fine too, you know, we're here. We're also available on Facebook and we have our new DeerCampStore.com website coming soon. So, no, where can they look you us. up on Facebook? Because yep, so you I'm, still have the Buck Bates site we do, running, right. which is is not going away. That is kind of your your foundation for right. and jumping board for Deer Camp. Right. So that's great. We have a couple of product pages. So our product pages, like something like Buck Bates, it's still up, as well as you'll be able to find it on our DeerCamp.com store and our Deer Camp store Facebook page as well. You'll see things that pop up for different things in our store and one like buck baits I mean because it's one of our product lines right. as well so that's but, yeah. awesome I wanted to thank you for coming too oh thank you for having me yeah. I'm uh yeah I'm all about you know we deer camp up north journal <laughs> visits we have a we have a surprise we do actually for, yep. for all the up north journal um viewers right um, tell a friend even, you know, if you live in West Virginia, you know, hello, Tim Seas, um, and you want to tell, you know, your aunt or cousin or whatever, get over to Deer Camp. If they mention the Up North Journal, yep. right, um, they will, <laughs> as our lovely invisible assistant um, <laughs> had sent us to us, this is an enormous bag. Yeah, it's our field bag. Like, can, I cannot believe it. In it. How large and how durable and quality made it is um, it will hold a lot of items that you can purchase right here and um, and it's amazing yeah. and you're doing something really special for up north journal fans yes you mentioned up north journal it well, as you're shopping and at checkout we'll give you the bag for $19.99 it's a steal this bag is worth a lot more oh my than gosh. that Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can't beat that. And you know what? Not only can I use it out in the field, but it would be a great um, packaging for your 
purchases to like fill up and Christmas wrap and put throw in bow it. on it. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can. It's it's huge. Yeah. It is huge. So and you can't beat it for twenty bucks. You can't beat Deer Camp because of the people, the values, the hometown. You know, made in Michigan. All that good, warm and fuzzy stuff that we really need to embrace and and promote. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, we are in a one-stop shop for anything deer related. Get you from start to finish, you know. So that's awesome. Um, between the beef jerkies, I'm looking around the store, um, beef jerkies and uh, fudge and the buck baits, scent covers and, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. What is the, popcorn. Uh, I mean, there's yeah, just so much here. It's so much yeah. to look at. And definitely come in and look at the taxidermied animals. Um, they are a great representation of quality work. Um, so if you got your buck or doe or a turkey and you want some help, see Julie. Yeah. Definitely, she yeah. will hook you up with class act people right. that are proven in the industry to do quality work and, and friendly and local. Yeah. So definitely. It was it was a pleasure as always. Oh yeah, thank you for coming down. We we appreciate it. We appreciate Up Dark Journal. It's always good talking to you as well. Oh, thank so we're, you. So I'm happy we got our girl chat in. Right, because so. the guys, you know, they get they get it enough. They get enough. Right, they get enough on camera time. Right? Absolutely, the girls need need a night once in a while, and definitely, you know, be safe out there. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you want to say. Um, we say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Seasons Greetings. Just be happy, healthy, and um, definitely get through this holiday season very safely. Um, and come see Julie and the gang at Deer Camp. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.